Hi there gamers. This one right here might be one of the best overall 17 inch gaming and workstation hybrids out there. It comes from XMG and the German barebone specialist put together a great package that has a lot going for it without any clearing weaknesses. And with the optional water cooling add-on, this might very well be one of the fastest 3080 Ti's in a laptop we tested so far. But let's start at the beginning. While you can spec out the Nier 17 to your liking on XMG's website, our review unit comes with anything today's gamer or content creator could ask for. For the CPU we got a Ryzen 9 6900HX alongside a 175W RTX 3080 Ti, 32GB of DDR5 RAM and a 1TB SSD. On the display side of things XMG didn't skimp either and all Neo 17 models come with a 16x10 240Hz QHD panel. The Neo 17 sports a completely new chassis design that manages to combine large cooling vents and RGB lighting into a subtle and somewhat elegant looking design. The tall 16x10 display with its very narrow bezels on all sides gives this 17 incher a clean and modern look and all materials feel very premium. The base is coated with a soft touch material that feels great, even though it is relatively susceptible to fingerprints, but what matte black gaming laptop isn't. In terms of ports you can find a single USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 alongside dedicated mic and headphone jacks on the left. On the right XMG added two additional USB-A 3.2 Gen 1s and a relatively slow but very welcome full-size SD card reader. The rest of the I.O. is in the back and consists of a single USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 with DisplayPort pass-through, HDMI 2.1, 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet, the power connector and the connector for the optional Oasis water cooler. While the 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet wired networking connection is a very welcome addition, the wireless solution in the Neo left us wanting by only offering average results in our transfer tests. The competition is much faster in this regard and if you get one of these for yourself, you should try to opt for the faster modules on XMG's website. If you head over to a written review, you can get a good look inside the Neo 17. In there you have access to both NVMe slots, the memory and the Wi-Fi module. The keyboard for the big 17 incher is an absolute treat since it offers Cherry's low profile mechanical switches for the main keyboard area. Both the numpad and the function row have to make do with your usual rubber dome switches. There isn't a lot left to say about the Cherries though, they have amazing tactile feedback and a very pronounced pressure point and they are very clicky. If you are into that kind of keyboard, the Neo 17 offers an amazing experience both for games and typing longer texts. If you prefer a quiet keyboard, well, this is not the one for you. The touchpad is massive and worked reliably in our testing and offers very quiet and satisfying clicks. 17 inch 16x10 gaming displays are still a novum these days, but we can certainly get behind the additional vertical space. The panel offers solid numbers for brightness for a gaming display, even if we would have preferred better contrast. The 240Hz screen covers almost 100% of the sRGB color space and just barely below 70% for both DCI-P3 and Adobe RGB. These are solid numbers for a gaming display once again and even some power users in video editing should be absolutely fine with this, especially since color reproduction from the factory is quite solid and can be further improved with manual calibration. If you are into professional photography and retouching for example, you have to look into an external screen though for color accurate workflows. Speaking of gaming, the QHD panel offers very fast response times and should even please competitive gamers. It might not be as fast as the 360Hz full HD panels we found in the MSI Titan or Aorus 17X. But we think giving the better panel specs overall, this is hardly something to complain about. When it comes to 17 inch desktop replacements, it is still not that common to see them being equipped with AMD's latest Ryzen CPUs. The Neo comes exclusively with the Ryzen 9 6900HX and while it offers solid CPU performance, compared to Intel's latest Alder Lake offerings like the i9-12900HX, it really can't keep up. That said, those chips need significantly more power and cooling, so the Ryzen chip might be able to redeem itself when it comes to temps and noise, but more on that later. 
So while the i9 found in the MSI Titan we tested recently might be up to 40% faster than our combined CPU score, the overall system performance of the Neo 17 offers absolutely no reason to complain. Should you be interested in our detailed benchmark results, please head over to our written review. My colleague Sebastian put the XMG through its paces forwardly. In the GPU department, the 3080 Ti benefits from a very generous 175 watts power envelope and can easily keep up or even trade close with the before mentioned Titan. For all of those that want to tinker with overclocking or detailed power settings, the NEO's control software gives you very granular control for everything performance related. If you add the OASIS to your setup, you can even free the GPU from any firmware restraints and unlock even more performance. Synthetic benchmarks aside, the NEO 17 shines with its gaming performance. The QHD display was a great choice for the hardware and can easily offer above 60 FPS in demanding story games and easily above 150 FPS in popular esports titles at the highest settings. And should you take shooters seriously, once you adjust settings accordingly, you should be able to take things on competitively and in the panel's native 240Hz refresh rate. Should you own a suitable screen or TV, even 4K gaming isn't a problem with the Neo 17. Especially once you take advantage of Nvidia's DLSS tech. You should be able to get above 60fps in all modern titles without sacrificing too much eye candy in the settings. In terms of noise, the Neo 17 does not perform significantly better or worse than the competition. Idle behavior is quite solid and under load, the 17-inch gamer is on par with competing devices. That said, the fan noise is tuned quite well without any annoying undertones, making the Neo appear much less noisy than our measured numbers might imply. Adding the optional water cooler to the setup can improve the temperatures and fan noise considerably. While the difference isn't crazy huge for CPU workloads, when it comes to gaming the only thing you will probably hear from the NEO is the pump of the Oasis. Should you use your NEO stationary for most of the time, the additional 200 euros for the external cooler is well worth the investment in our opinion. The one key area where Ryzen equipped laptops perform significantly better than the Intel equipped competition is battery life. We got almost 9 hours out of the Neo 17 in our standard Wi-Fi test, which is exceptional for such a big and powerful machine. Alright folks, time to wrap it up. The XMG Neo 17 is easily able to keep up or sometimes even outperform similar offerings from the big brands currently on the market. It offers a well-built chassis, great materials, solid I.O. options and an awesome mechanical keyboard. We also really like the 16x10 QHD display, that is a great choice for games and work alike. Should you require the absolute best in raw CPU performance, you might look elsewhere. But generally speaking, the Neo offers a very well-rounded performance package with insane gaming capabilities. Or well, actually for anything that requires some serious GPU muscle. As always, please check out our website for a much more detailed look into the Neo 17. And please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Thanks a ton for watching guys. My name is Alex, you have been absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.